All right, we're gonna draw some pyramids today. So first thing you're gonna do is on your paper, draw a triangle. Doesn't need to be perfect, we're gonna draw a triangle. And then on the bottom corner, you're gonna draw a line straight up. And then you're gonna connect that line to the tip of your pyramid. And that makes our pyramid look three-dimensional, like it has four sides. So now what I'm gonna do is draw, I need to have a horizon line, because otherwise it just looks like it's floating in space. So how I do that is draw a line that kind of runs behind our pyramid, separates the ground from the sky. And we're gonna go ahead and call it a bump and jump line, because it bumps, jumps over the pyramid. And then I could add my sun if I want to. I could add clouds, I could add a lot of other stuff in here, but that's the basic, simple way to do it. Um, if you want to add bricks, all you have to do is just copy and paste this bottom line. So copy, paste, 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 all the way up. And then you're going to draw your vertical lines for your bricks. And I stagger mine. So like if there's these two lines, I draw one in between. Because usually that's how bricks are stacked to make them a little bit stronger. But you can do yours any way you want. And then for this side, we want to actually copy and paste this line. So this one goes up and down. So we're going to go up and down, up and down, all the way up. And then we have our bricks. But this is, now that you know the basics, you guys can play around with the composition. That means how you arrange things. Because I just put the pyramid kind of right in the middle and then have the horizon line kind of right in the middle of my picture. But I don't have to do that. Let's play around with something else. Maybe I'll do a really big one in the front. I'm going to do the line straight up and then connect the top again. Oops, let me fix that. Okay. And then what if I want to have like another one, a littler one in the background? Line straight up, connect. And then I'll do my horizon line. My bump and jump line. Maybe this time I'll make my sun kind of peeking up along the bottom. Or what if instead of both times I did kind of a flat bump and jump line? What if this time here I'll draw a really big pyramid one that kind of goes off my page a bit. And then I'll draw another one really big that goes off my page again. And then maybe for this one, my bump and jump line, you know what, just for effect, I'm gonna do one more itty bitty one in the back. Triangle, line straight up and then connect them. I'm gonna do a curvy bump and jump line because that makes it look like there's kind of a, a hilly background behind my pyramids. And maybe for this one, instead of it being daytime, maybe I want this one to be nighttime, and so I'll draw a little moon. And then you could add other things, like you could draw camels or people, it's up to you. So as an artist, once you know the basic starting points of how to draw your pyramid and how to have a horizon line, there's lots of different possibilities for how you can make your final drawing. So have fun with it.